Hey YouTube family. I just wanted to kind of show you what I am making besides mask. I am getting kind of tired of making masks. I'm slowing up on that. I really need to get my sewing machine packed up anyway. But before I pack it up, I'm wanting to make myself some paper towels that are not out of paper, out of cloth, and some napkins. So I had this terry cloth material already. I had this material and I had this material. And the only new material is that sea turtle. And of course, as soon as I laid it out on the bed, my pets decided they needed to come and help. Right, Lacey? Lacey, what you doing? Yeah. All right, so um, stay tuned and I'm gonna tell you what we're going to do with all these. Hey YouTube family, this is Francie with Finding Joy Through Serving. So today I'm working on a little project. Well, I'm working on a lot of projects. I started painting, spot painting the walls and hang on, my cat, what is wrong? You got some hair, come here, oh there. My cat had some hair in his mouth. All right, as soon as I lay this stuff down, they think they need to help me and lay all over it. So I wanna explain it and so I can get it picked up. But I am making what they call unpaper towels. So basically I have a cotton material and then on the back I'm putting terry cloth. And so this size right here, I think it's an eight by eight and it covers my hand like that. The first sizes I've been thinking about is the 10 by 10. Um, but you know, with paper towels, I'm always using a smaller amount so I think I'm really going to love this 8x8 instead, but I only have a few cut out in that size. The rest are 10x10. 10 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these paper towels, and then I'm also going to make some napkins. So some of these will be paper towels, and some will be napkins. And I have a lot of the sea turtle material, so I'll probably have napkins out of this for sure but I'm just gonna try and make what I have and then I'll pack it and then when I get to my new kitchen, I will have uh, paper towels to use and napkins, paper napkins. So I don't have to buy napkins. I don't buy napkins very often. We just use paper towels. So um, I'm hoping I will not buy as many paper products. And so when, well, it's a really all about being an environmentalist. Oh, hang on, look at that. Look at this cat. Oh my goodness. Oh. All right. Good night. He got a lot of hair. He has a lot of hair. Don't you? Gigi. <laughs> oh, he likes to be brushed though. He loves to be brushed. So we need to brush him more often and get this hair off. All right, so this is something I'm working on and I will show you all the end products. It's really not very difficult. You just sew these two pieces together, right, right sides together and turn it inside out. And then I sew along the edge. And I thought about doing it twice along the edge. But, and then I also did an X. And the reason I did an X is so these two pieces of material don't, you know, shift and stuff, especially using them a lot and um, just so they stay in place, I guess. Because we'll probably use them a lot, wash them a lot. So I really like this size. Huh. So I do have a lot more sea turtle material, but I don't know as far as how much of this I have. And I might have some white left. I, I made some, what do you call them? Like burp rags for babies. So, all right. So that's what I'm doing. Just trying to be more cautious, conscious of um, the environment and not, oh. You've got this cat just collecting a lot of hair. Okay, sorry, distraction. I don't want him to swallow it. All right, so hopefully these will turn out okay. I will show you the end result. And that's one thing I'm working on. And it's kinda, I enjoy doing stuff like this. I enjoy making stuff for other people and of course for myself. 
and it's kind of exciting because I'm going to have a new kitchen and that's always exciting to kind of redecorate and everything and obviously the theme is going to be uh, marine life and we're going to Florida so I think it fits all right we'll talk to y'all later hey YouTube family so this is still Sunday when I was showing you about making the um, on paper towels anyway I am on my way to a couple from where I go to church he actually came over the other day I asked him to help me put that door up if you've watched my videos you know I had to replace a door in the, one of the rooms one of the interior doors so um, I messaged his wife said hey do you think you guys can help me with this door they came over within 30 minutes it was you know these people just show Christ's love in ways I have never seen it before they will help me at the drop of a hat and it's and they're older people they're old they're in their 60s late 60s I believe and I'm just astounded by the love that they show it yeah it's amazing I, I hope I can get like that that you know you see people like that there's such good examples of showing Christ's love and um, helping others just oh I love it but anyway I text him to see if he'd help me get my carrier my carriers in the back and put it on I've got four straps and so I just want to make sure I don't know if I should put like do two straps all the way or I'm not gonna go on top of it because I need to open it so, but I'm not sure about going underneath it and pulling it or doing four different separate straps so, um, anyway, they just asked that I come out to their house, which, you know, it's very understandable, and I am good with that. So, I'm driving out to their house, and I took the highway that's more scenic. I don't like getting on 24 in Nashville, uh, but um, this way is much prettier, and not as many people on this highway. It takes a little bit longer, but that's okay. So, maybe in a little bit, I will have the carrier on top of the Jeep. And I wanted to go ahead and have it on before the move. Um, just, I think once I get it on there, I don't know that I'm going to be taking it on and off. It's, you know, um, yeah, it's probably just going to be up there. But for sure it's going to be up there for the move. And then, you know, if I go on camping trips, I want it up there. And I don't know that I want to be taking it on and off all the time. So we'll see. We'll see how it does and I wanted it up on the roof early you know it's about a month before we move right now and so I wanted it up there so I can make sure it's not gonna fly off and all this stuff so it would probably be better when there's stuff in it so it's not so light and I need to get used to driving with it on and remembering I'm a little bit higher than normal so be careful with drive throughs and such so yeah, I better watch that too. But anyway, um, anyway, his wife sews and, you know, is crafty like I am. So I'm going to take, I'm taking this over there. I made one with the sea turtles. I have not made the X on it. I'm going to ask her what she would do. If she would put the X or just leave it. I just don't know. You know, like this one, I put the X. I don't know with a lot of use that that X is going to be better to have on there than not because I don't want the two pieces of material to separate after you use it a lot so I don't know I was just about to watch some YouTube videos because that's what I do it's funny when I try when I do a project I will watch and research for I don't know how long probably weeks watching YouTube videos watching how to do it and it's just like you know I just need to be confident enough in myself that I know what I'm doing I can do it and so yeah that's kind of hard to build up all right so I just want to let you know that I got a lot of things going on today oh my goodness I am always so busy I don't know how people can say they're bored during quarantine because I am not uh, my school is over so I don't have that to do that's done which is a huge relief but now um, it's getting ready for the move and 
little odds and ends things. I started doing some touch-up painting. I found a can of gray paint, which the walls are all gray. And there's stuff in my bathroom just splattered on the wall. I don't know what it is. It was there when I moved in. And so I'm trying to cover it up with their the paint. And it's it just, every time I put a coat, it comes right through. You put a coat, it comes right through. And I thought, you know, I bet the painters just did one coat and that's that. And they're not worried about it. But they'll say it's my fault. They'll say I did it. And that's what I don't like. So anyway when the, you rent a place because I do try to take care and when I leave I'm gonna make sure this place is clean and so I've been doing some touch-up painting today uh, working a little bit on these um, on paper towels cloth paper towels napkins whatever you want to call them um, and now I'm going to get my carrier on the roof so kind of exciting I I always want to keep working towards the goal of getting out there and um, seeing things. But I tell you what, I looked at a campground near a friend of mine, she's a YouTuber, and I thought, you know, I'll go out there and see her before I go, like maybe next weekend. The campground is booked, um, no spots open. So people are getting out there. I have a friend who's camping this weekend and she said it was crowded, it's crowded, so. Maybe I need to look into the spoon docking areas, but I'm sure they're crowded too. I don't know. I'll see. <clears throat> when I get to Florida, I'm going to start doing some research because I'll have the month of July to camp, but like I said, it's going to be hot, so I don't know. Unless I go further north because my daughter will be home. She can watch the animals, so I don't know. Maybe I could go north a little bit. We'll see. We'll see what's going to happen. Of course, I've got my Amazon job too, so yeah, I can't go too far. <laughs> All right, so I will take some pictures and um, hopefully we'll have the carrier attached today and check that off my list. So I'm checking things off my list that, that I don't even have. It's kind of in my head. You know, I've been looking at journals. Side note, I'm sorry, I'm so ADD. But I've been looking at journals. I really want to get a good journal planner like a planner journal that and just try to make lists and make goals and write things down and be more purposeful and you know that's the whole one of my points of this channel is to be more purposeful in my life to be more purposeful serving others and be more purposeful in what I do every single day so I'm not wasting time and I'm busy I'm busy with my hands I'm busy making things I'm busy helping others you know, and like even trying to get a garden started when I get to Florida, um, just always doing things and not just sitting around watching YouTube videos. Huh, I do that too. But, um, and there's a time, there's a time to sit and relax for sure. So anyway, so I've been looking for a planner and that's a waste, waste, uh, waste a lot of time looking for sure. But I just wanted to have everything that I would want in it. So that's kind of hard to find. All right, I found one. It only does six months at a time because they said if they did a whole year, it'd be too thick. So I'm leaning towards that one. I'll let you know <clears throat> if I get it. I also want to talk to you a little bit about being prepared. Um, I have purchased some things to kind of get that started. And uh, besides the stuff I have for camping, I've purchased some other stuff. So. I'll share that probably in a video how I'm trying to get that all started. So, alright, I'll let you all go for now because I don't want to attach in all these videos to be too long. So, we'll talk to you all later.